Will you let us know when we're... All right. So we're here on a brisk evening. Really uh, cold out here, huh? <laughs> really cold. Of course, we don't really have any heat in the... Uh, the, the commentator box or the press box. Uh, uh, hopefully there's enough heat on the field to keep right. us warm up here, huh? I, I, I'd like to tell everybody at home that uh, when it starts to get cold outside, this is where soccer changes and team dynamics start to change. It starts being uh, a little bit less fun to play as a player. Uh, things become a little bit more intense. You start to see less goals. Uh, passes get a little bit sloppy. It's just harder to play. And when you get kicked, it's just painful. Oh, it's painful. Oh, it so makes you want to cry like a little baby. With the, with the playoffs coming yeah. up and yep. everything, you're about to start to see uh, how FC Birmingham is going to perform in uh, these situations. Oh, and There's a great Eric, early pass Eric by Eric Hepp. Hepp, who's got on the rec specs. Oh, I like that. And do you see his gloves down there? Yeah. This is, Man. Wow. I, I believe Eric Hepp is a fashion icon. That's what down I, there. Is he going for fashionista of the game? I, I think so. <laughs> this is really impressive. The fact that he's sporting Rex Specs and gloves mm, out there, a true fashion it. icon. Gotta love Eric it. Hepp. Wow. And I think I see a couple sequins on his cleats. <laughs> he is yeah. really going for it tonight, <laughs> yeah. folks. I like it. I like it. And, folks, the name of the team we're playing is AFC 615. That's right. 615 being the, uh, I guess, the area code for, for Nashville. Who knew? Yep, 615. I had no idea. No. But if you if you look at it, there's a 6 and a 1 and a 5. If you add that 1 to that 5, what do you get? <laughs> oh, 6, six, six. six. six, six Ooh, yeah. If there's one more 6, we'd be in yeah. real trouble. Don't want that. That's bad, bad juju. So FC Birmingham's only loss of the season came to AFC 615. So we're going to see uh, if they can seek revenge. And the crowd is just pouring in I here. Mean, it is flowing. Kay Ivy once again led us from City Hall all the way to the field. And Robert, she can walk. <laughs> I had no idea that lady could walk like that. She yeah. had her Brooks tennis shoes on. Yeah. She <laughs> Power walk. Lululemon. She's a big uh, Lululemon girl, Kay <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> Presses on here. A little bit of a different formation oh, here really from, nasty uh, turn from Carlos. Looks like the wing backs are playing a little bit higher than they normally would. Kind of ducked into the center. I'm looking at especially uh, Eddie, number 21, who's had a fantastic season as a wing back for FC Birmingham. Kind of playing more in the in the middle. There's the Nelson. And I don't see uh, I don't there he is. There's there's Ryan Hub. We gotta mention, since it is our last game, technically of the regular season, what a season has it been. We got Great a ball. dangerous ball here on the outside. Great we didn't ball. get to it. Oh uh -oh. little recovery defense. But what a season so far. Yeah. For the first season. <laughs> it's been magical. I mean it's been magical. gracious. From great goals to a lot of adversity on the field and off. It's been incredible. Yeah. Oh that's a that's a great pass. And we got a nice little corner opportunity here wow, for Birmingham. And, and Sources told me from FC Birmingham that Eric Hepp was actually uh, having trouble seeing and that he has bad oh. vision. So the rec specs were uh, a what? personal decision of wow. his to improve his quality of game. That's a team player right I, there. Yeah, and I, I, I think that this kid's the, the real deal. Oh, yeah. He's the future. Some yeah, say. Yep. right, right, of course. Just like the, the rapper Future. <laughs> scored, <laughs> scored, the, future. scored the first goal of FC Birmingham's history. And uh, Great corner opportunity. We're, Birmingham's a little bunched up here in an interesting right. formation. Oh, okay. They spread out. Look at this. Dangerous ball in. Ooh. We can whip it back in. Great oh. move. And, ooh. Oh, that goalkeeper can get up. That keeper just a little, little <laughs> hit in the rib cage. Just said, hey, what's up? Golly, There's Birmingham's Brett. flying up there. There's Brett. Do they, is it just me? Or did, does it look like they drank their Aquafina this morning? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious. A lot of Gatorade. They talked to our friends down at Second Row Law. Second Row Law. And, and Big whiteboard guys, they, Second Row Law. They always love always whiteboarding. You know, I, I uh, messaged them this week, and I said, guys, I don't know how, but I really want to direct the next James Bond movie. Can we make that happen? And they said, let's let's sit down. Let's whiteboard that. Tell me, tell us what you're thinking. And we, we just played Hangman the entire we, time on that whiteboard. <laughs> we, That's we, all we did. We came to 
we came to a conclusion that I won't be able to, to direct Ooh, the, the next James Bond Really movie. good ball here on the outside. Oh. Birmingham's really pressing that yeah. final third of the field. If they can get that one last pass. Look at mm. Ryan Hepp, just like his oh, brother, yeah. sporting sort of like the, the long socks here. Really good look. Really good look. And he just, look at him just dominating right Dom now, just standing uh, there in the middle of the field. That's pretty a turn. Carlos's oh. formation here is definitely working wonders. Bearcat won't be happy with that no. loss of possession. Golly, I've never seen two brothers battle for fashionista of the game yeah. in the same game. It's <laughs> wild. It's incredible stuff to see here, folks. And we have a great audience in attendance tonight. We are so, so happy. It is flowing here, folks. There are so many people here. It's crazy. And they're starting the wave. And a, a wonderful amateur soccer player named Carrie Bowden is out here trying to start the wave for the crowd. It's incredible. Number four here from... Um, Nicholas, uh, I have not seen him on the field this entire season. Nice to see Mr. Mr. Nick, we'll call him. Shoes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I was just complimenting someone's shoes, and uh, they weren't Eric Hebb's. Oh, man. <laughs> His shoes look great, though, don't yeah. they? Yeah. What a, Some what a, sparkles. Look at that oh, throw incredible. out by oh, wow. Kalen. And it, just the spin. He knew that it needed to bounce and take yep. the hop. Wow. And one thing I noticed, whoever, whoever came today already folded this for us. And that young amateur, Kerry Bowden, is coming to say hello up here yeah, to the right. commenter. It's e so nice when he does that, right? Everybody, Phenomenal soccer player. Everybody knows here. They, they know the commentators. People have been writing in, messaging us on Facebook, handwritten letters. Yep. Somebody. A lot of emails this week. Put a, that, put a billboard up. That, that was really kind. Yeah. All right, a dangerous cross opportunity here. <laughs> and it's way too low. That looked like it hurt. Hit Angel, who uh, had a. Angel said, better luck next time, guy. Angel, great player. Yeah. Just a phenomenal player. Yeah. He just kind of flows out there like water, rushing down the side of an Aquafina. Mm. Mm. Well done. Ooh, a little shake and bake, huh? Ooh. A little bit of dangerous, Ooh, dangerous player opportunity here. If he gets it on the outside. Ooh, uh, what a pass. Offsides. Offsides. Ooh. I was watching this guy warm Birmingham's up. lucky on that one. Number 19 for AFC 615. Great player. Good ball out to uh, Andrew Duffy here. Cap is free. Let's see. Oh. One man to beat. Oh, oh great ball incredible by vision. Oh. I'm liking what I'm seeing early here. Denielson with oh, the, my oh, goodness, Denielson. what a goal. Denielson. Oh, and he just great absolutely shot. buries great it. Shot, Denielson. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He's had the some crowd is that going crazy in the, in the past. What? The we what want Bama shot. chance have started. The crowd is going nuts. K. Ivy's running up the steps as we speak. Everyone's going crazy. It's electric here, folks. AFC 615. Wow, Robert, how'd that make you feel? Good, because Denielson's had a lot of long-range efforts uh, after his, his first one uh, that he scored, and he had been unsuccessful the last, like, five, five oh, or ten times. 
Um, good Poor to see attempt at trying to chip the keeper there from distance. Yeah. It was about 30 yards short. And Galen's not, not going to be troubled by he that. He said, uh-uh. He said, get that out of here. And one thing I've noticed about Galen, his support group on, on Facebook is fantastic. Oh, his wow. dad is probably the biggest supporter of the club Aww. How there's ever is been. That? I know. He's a, he's a good guy. I like I like him. I, I don't know his name. I think they're from Maryland originally. Mm. Uh, saw that on Facebook. But his dad's just a champion. I like his dad. He's a good guy. His dad needs to come have a beer f- with us. We, well, we could maybe he could maybe pay. Yeah, he's a we'll big Aquafina Ap- guy. Last <laughs> time I heard, and a Gatorade guy. Yeah. yeah. So we can break open some Pepsi's. Right. Yep. Ice cold Pepsi's. We'll with invite the Aquafina. The, ice we'll cubes. invite Webster Electric because yes. they're our uh, official Goal Kick sponsor. Oh. 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 What no. in the world? Ooh. No, that was <laughs> some. Folks, that was some Number razzle 19. dazzle. <laughs> Hashtag David Blaine. Has, uh, wow. Incredible. Happy feet out there, some, huh? Some skill there. Wow. His feet aren't cold. A little bit of Ronaldinho out there. Mm-hmm. When, when I get older, I, I will, will be stronger. stronger. All right. Long ball here in the middle. Maybe a little handball, but they're not going to call that. They're out here to play. Uh, this formation is oh, just yeah. working wonders for, for FC Birmingham. Always that extra pass. Car- huh? Carlos Ooh. Carlos has just cooked up something really spicy tonight. Ooh. Some cayenne pepper. I know. Right, a long free kick opportunity right. here for Birmingham. Nicholas, and he's, he's going to play, play it short. I love that. So tactical. Look at so that. Tactical, tactical. So well coached. Thought provoking. Oh. Eric wanted that. Yeah. He wanted to get that down and put something on it. Another oh, loss of possession here in the middle. Oh, well done. Yes. Well done by Ryan. Those passes do worry me. If a couple of those get through, yeah. their forwards are really pushing yeah, the Yeah, number 19. Down yeah, you don't is, want him to have the no, ball. No. He's looking to get that big contract, I think. Yeah. Maybe play somewhere in, like, Iceland. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well done. They're just playing on this left side. That's Eddie. Great season so far. Oh, one thing, ball's barely in still. A lot of people have been getting the, the plaudits. We we've given out Terminator Man of the Matches to, yep. to so many people, but Eddie, has been entirely consistent with with effort this year. Um, really, really proud of the way he's been playing the whole year. Great, great character out there. Um, just don't have enough good things to say about Eddie. I just love his nickname, Eddie the Stallion. Yeah. I mean, it's an incredible name. I don't know where it came from, but I oh, love that name. Dangerous opportunity. And he uh, shanked well that pass. Verdi. Right. Of course, we famously called Verdi Pablo a couple of times. Look at uh, this great last position. game. Oh, Due yeah. Due to the extra column on our spreadsheet. Once again, don't have that extra column yeah. in Excel. Folks at home, take note. Take a class on yeah. Excel. Don't go with the extra yeah, column. Try to consolidate as much as possible. Don't. You can do that on the print setting. Yep. Goodness gracious. Okay. He, yes. hmm. That's well, a poor pass. Very poor uh, and pass. It probably was offside here. And we've got somebody in some sort of anime jacket. What a jacket, huh? It looks warm, doesn't it? Man. But uh, I've, I've noticed here that
And the more I look, Ryan and Eric, based on their cleats and the style, where would they get a pair of cleats like that? Someone at home that says, I want some cleats with a little yeah. razzle-dazzle. Where soccer do you get those? Post. Ooh, soccer, soccer post. 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 Going down 280. Soccer post. Soccer post. Soccer post. Soccer post. Soccer post. You can get everything you need. From cleats to balls to jerseys. To jerseys. Go visit our friends to and say Robert and Nick sent you. Yeah. Oh, great. Ooh, great yeah. little pass in here. Is it? Their vision tonight's incredible. It? Hashtag lace it. Just playing. Ooh. Oh, Andrew Duffy here. Oh, yeah. He drank his well Gatorade. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Drank the Gatorade. Oh, drink the, no drink oh. the rock star. Well done, Mr. Nick here. Oh, just some good physical play. That's going to go out. What's out for a corner here. Okay. Oh, look at that hustle down there. Everyone's coming with yeah. it tonight. Coming with it. I think it's the cold. Yeah. Or it was the lead out by Kay Ivy. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And Reynold Woodfin's here. He's having a good time. And <laughs> looking down at the crowd, guess who is here, folks? Brock Lesnar has come out to see the great FC Birmingham. Now, I wouldn't know Brock Lesnar from the next guy. So, who is Brock Lesnar? He's Can that mountain of a man down there. With Oh, Brock Lesnar. Um, average UFC fighter. Oh, okay. Professional wrestler. <laughs> okay. Yep. Got it, got it. Maybe the widest neck in all of sports. Oh, the widest neck. Granted, <laughs> Goldberg might have something to say oh. about that. Of course, growing up, I was always confused between Goldberg and Steve Austin. I thought they were oh, the same yeah. person. Yeah, one drank Kinda a lot of beer, one. and then one, oh, okay. yeah, one wore underwear and had a tattoo on his right arm. That's how I distinguish the two. Birmingham seems to be showing a lot of maturity early yeah. on in this game. It's like they know exactly what they're going to do. They're sticking to their formation. And then, and then this guy... This guy, Nick, over here, Mr. Ooh, Nick. Mr. Nick. Is just a classy player. Mm. We have just, Look I wonder why we haven't seen much of this the refs, is. unfortunately, getting in the way there a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Danielson. Wow, and FC Birmingham's oh just goodness. got wonderful concessions. We, we the greatest just, hospitality we, we just, in the game. Yeah, this is this is world class. We're just not surprised. Oh, there's oh my Angel goodness. right there. Uh, that so the ref should have called that back because <laughs> he was fouled while he was playing the pass, and the pass went astray. Dangerous opportunity for AFC six one five. Six one five. Six one five. Huh. Oh, great oh, break. Great play, play him through. If Eric can get there. Ooh. A couple more yards. Eric, Eric's really seen the field oh, so yeah. well, though. So it's cleats, I'm telling you. It's, I think it's, it's a cleats. It's the specs. And the it's specs, the specs and the gloves. Fashion icon. Yep. Fashion icon. Yep. And he oh. knows that. You can oh. When you see his Instagram, you go, yeah, now, that's the guy. Now, number 13 just put on a, a beautiful little move here. And Eric needs to, yep. Look go. at this ball. This is, this is incredible. He's going. For, ooh, oh, great <laughs> dummy shot. Oh, he sold me. Oh, man. Angel is just playing with so much confidence. And really, everyone out there, look at our back line. Oh, dangerous ball here. Just a little outside. Um, That is not Angel. Man. Ooh, shot on goal. Just a little bit over the. Number eight is, is not Angel. I just mm. apologize. Is so. it on Hill? <laughs> no, it's, it's Marco. Marco. It's Marco. 
That is just, just way too bad. Off. Way too bad. We've just been complimenting Angels because yeah. we like Angels we like so, much. so much. We, we love his great, name. We had a great conversation with him by the water fountain a few weeks ago. But I'll Super tell you what, sweet kid. Marco and Polo. Nicholas have come, <laughs> have come into the game, mm-hmm. and they're just showing their class. Um, been really impressed with what Marco's been offering the team lately. And uh, we have to say, AFC 615 has, I think, one substitute on the bench. And that must be a lonely That lonely looks like fella. a very cold bench. Very, very cold bench. Ooh, that is definitely a foul. And Eric, let's hope he's okay. He's going to pop right up. I can see it on his yeah. face. He's just saying, I'm cold. Quick, Ooh. quick free kick. Good idea by the Nielsen. Birmingham's going to try to hustle back into position here. A nice little safety net here. Ooh, he overran that ball just a little bit. Great little slide tackle there. All right, another option. You can tell a lot of these teams come to Birmingham and haven't played on turf in a while. The ball just bounces. A Man, I just different. don't think they're expecting this many people to be here. Yeah, just I think that's the a crowd noise everybody. is insane. Yeah. The chance. It's, it's like you got a T Rex. The celebrity row, you mm-hmm. know, right. right in front of second row. Hashtag our friends at second row law. Yeah, whiteboard specialist. Whiteboard specialist. Whiteboard specialist. Mm-hmm. If you're, you're an entrepreneur, you have some kind of business going. Yeah. You know, you wanna, you wanna, just start something new, something fresh. You, maybe you wanna start selling T-shirts. Oh yeah, they can help you set. Maybe all you wanna of that. start mining coal. You know, or Bitcoin uh-oh. if that's your thing too. Dangerous opportunity. Oh, oh great. Great, save. great save! Great save! I'm not sure what happened there. Defense. Oh, good defense oh, yeah. by Ryan Hepp. Yep. Mm. That's right. Ryan Hepp's going to mess around and get a pro deal. Yep. Been saying it for the last couple of months. But I back to second row. Second row. I lock. mean, just any kind of business you're thinking. Or if you just want to go in there and play some tic-tac-toe, the, they would love to break out the whiteboard for that They've been working well. on their mental models, too. I've been yep. hearing them say that word, their mental models, mental. how they interpret data, make decisions. Just great tactical thinkers. Yep. Highly, highly intelligent, and also lots of positive energy flowing from. They just Webster like to Electric. hang out. Oh, Webster Electric. Webster Electric. Oh yeah. We were we were talking to some of their employees. They said, just to normalize their themselves and have a normal week, they have to run a marathon. They're just there's so much positive energy flowing out, and they just need to get it out. And a yeah. marathon is the best way to do it's that. Like their so batteries are just too yeah, full, yeah, and they got to right. get it out somehow. There's Andrew Duffy. Wasn't able to get a strong cross in. Eric Hepp is just look everywhere. At that. So, so focused. It's those specs. Yeah. It's the gloves. It's the cleats. It's the look. It's yeah. This we're gonna have to take a photo of this guy. Mm-hmm. Get a get some photos going around so everybody can know in Birmingham what a what a fashion icon. I mean, he here. has to have a TikTok, right? Uh, let's we we need to we need to give <laughs> regardless of what happens on the field. We need to. Get him. We need to interview him yes. and ask him some questions. Yes. The way he's looking tonight, he'll probably be interviewing us. Yeah. <laughs> God, you, I just love our uniforms. The yellow. Yeah, the yellow. Oh, they it's, just it's, pop. It's, it, it does. They do pop. They and pop. Hashtag Harry Styles. Yeah. <laughs> There's and Mar- Marco. Marco's is everywhere. Just really good player. He kind of reminds me of Yao Moutinho for uh, for Wolves. Um, great Portuguese midfielder. Oh, another great steal. Uh, came to England. Older guy, but had a, just so much class that he immediately improved Wolves uh, midfield and just really standout player. Marco's kind of got that same playing style. And I don't know if you caught that uh, right. Did you see that little dummy Nielsen. Andrew Duffy just did that? No, uh, but I'm not surprised. Andrew Duffy is. Duffy the vampire a, slayer. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, yeah. folks. I heard he had a great Halloween. That's yeah. what everyone's been telling Everybody me. Has, we've been getting lots of DMs. Cards? Yeah. All the cards we got to our P.O. box? No, I mean, goodness gracious. Thank you, yeah, folks. You we appreciate it. Got some gift cards. Some Blockbuster right. gift cards, which I yeah, may have been an a, insult, but... And hey, I'll take him. So you look at Marco. Look at Marco look at just that. holding off. And then Ooh, nice and Eric's Eric. just going to run this ball down. So let's see if Eric Someone can, can get inside here. Some help here. Oh. oh, well done, Eric. He is just dancing out there, folks. Ooh. 
My goodness, Birmingham just came out today, huh? Yeah. Maybe it's the cold weather. Maybe it's maybe, cold weather. Mm. Really impressed with the start here. And if you're AFC with the single striker setup that they have going right now, do you think that's going to be enough to get a goal on Birmingham? Uh, it'll all depend on if they can get loose on the counter. And what's happening is their winger, uh, their left winger, will shift in centrally, uh, and, and it'll kind of go more to a 4-4-2. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's playing right off Brett's back shoulder there. And we can confirm that jacket is a rug rats jacket. Yeah, down that, there. Is, that a is a good looking cool rug. jacket. That is a good looking rug Really like jacket. that. Man. What a show, the, huh? The, the style today. That Everyone we're came on out. The field. Huh? Yeah. And even the owner, Doug, had this beanie today, and it, it was just remarkable. So nice. Oh, if he can whip this ball in here. Ooh, just oh. a little too much. Oh, oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh. oh. I'm uh, I, did it, it not must have hit off the goal post? The field goal post? I thought that was a. That, from our angle, looked in by about a foot. The, the call in the field looks like the, the keeper tapped it against the field goal post, which, of course, Lawson State fam uh, famously took down when Ole Miss came to play here in Lawson State Field. And Houston Nutt was not happy about that. <laughs> he got on his motorcycle in the parking lot and just started revving it. He just said, listen to this. Yeah, the owner, Doug Walk, just has to be so happy with what, is, what he's seeing from his team, and especially from the commentators. Oh, yeah. He just loves us He just loves the commentators. And I tell you one thing, Robert. I want that beanie that he has. Yeah. It is a oh, nice he, beanie. We've got, we've got way too many fashion icons. I mean, everyone came the out in their best today. I mean, Brock Lesnar is here and, in a and, tux, folks, and, and it's know, 40 degrees. You know who I bet you looks the best of all? Galen. Thank you so Galen much. Galen Curry's oh, dad oh, oh. at home is probably probably has the FC Birmingham scarf on. Just oh, a, yeah. Just a world-class dad. World-class dad. Just yelling at the TV yeah. like he's Come on, Galen. horse racing Come on, Galen. Bets. I'm yep. sure he was happy about Galen's oh, save yeah. earlier. That was a great save. Surprisingly, keeps that ball in there, huh? He's kind of dancing there. Ooh. Brett got beat pretty easily there. Normally uh, a fixture on the uh, the left side Ooh. of defense. Probably dangerous loss of possession here for Birmingham. Probably doesn't love playing on the right, but he's doing it for the team. Ooh. Dangerous right, tackle. So. so it went out for right. a... Goal kick? Goal kick. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, not sure how that's not a foul, but that, hey, I'm not on the field. That's that's Pablo right there, and, mm -hmm. and Pablo has been playing wing back, right wing back for the for the team all year, and kind of like I was saying with Eddie, Pablo doesn't get a lot of praise, but totally, totally puts it out there every week. So much effort, just just really, really good player. Big kick by Galen. That's what all the parents Probably. say. Oh. oh, Andrew Duffy. Andrew Duffy. He is just oh, having nice. a day. Duffy yeah. the vampire Cla classic player. Classic player. And what we were saying um, last time we saw him play, he, he's the kind of guy that doesn't mind doing the dirty work, doesn't nope. mind kicking the ball nope. far out of bounds so the other team can't get to it. Kind of like the your own personal Mourinho on the oh, field. Oh, exactly. And he'll get in the other team's head, too. He'll yeah. blow him kisses, which yeah. is my personal favorite, such and wink and say, what's such, up? What's up? Such a smart – Cerebral. Yeah. Hashtag cerebral. And folks, if you're in the area, I would suggest coming down because at halftime, we have Gene Simmons performing Phantom of the Opera. 
on the field on the 50-yard line. It's going to be incredible. Everyone's really excited Let's here. I see a lot of fans of the Opera Mask in the crowd tonight. Yeah. Everyone's looking forward to it. I, it's going to be – I don't know what song specifically he's going to sing, mm -hmm. but he's going to be in his full attire for Kiss. And and what is the – what's the most famous song from Phantom of the Opera? Do you Ooh. know how that goes? Let me see here. Um, music of the Night. Mm. Let me be your shelter. Yeah, that's about all I know at the moment, but okay. I'm going to check my notes and get back to you, and I will perform that as well with him with on me. the field. Yep. We're just really – oh, look at Eric out there. We're just really lucky to be able to see Gene still performing. Oh, and putting all that makeup on. Yeah. That does, what a guy. He's been putting makeup on since, yeah. since Thursday. Yeah. And he's still in his trailer. Job, he has Nick. not come out yet. Great job, Nick. Personally, what was your favorite Kiss song? I you're think a, I only know the You're one, a big right? Detroit Rock City guy. Oh, uh, see. <laughs> no, what's their uh, I Want to Rock and Roll All Night? That's the only one I know. Isn't that Kiss. Jet? <laughs> I only know. <laughs> Jet is, to me, one of the greatest rock bands yeah. of all time. Right behind yeah, Ario Speedwagon. Jet can really thank the iPod commercial for. Oh, my goodness. What a commercial for that their was, career. Huh? They came out with that one album. They said, yep, we're out yeah, of here. So, Same so with The Darkness. Do you remember The Darkness? Yeah, I believe in A Thing Called Love. I so many great uh, songs in Ryan Hepp Dispossessed. So many great songs in those iPod commercials. A lot of the players probably weren't even born at the time. But, man. We, the iPod. We, mm. One, two, three, four. Tell me that you love me more. Mm. Dun, no. By Feist, you know? Oh, yeah. Great song. Great song. And then you 2 decided just oh. to put their album on everyone's <laughs> yeah. iPod. It was ill-advised because it's one of the worst U2 albums of all time. Yeah. I was a rattle and hum that guy was, myself. That was uh, oh, great, great, great album. Um, uh, the uh, <laughs> it's it's like this. I I just remember the the music video from U2, and it's like they're all in a sandstorm, and they're just it made zero. The sense. wind is like yeah. coming at them, and I think it's like Vertigo or something. Yeah, I think yeah. that's it. And I'm plays yeah. 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 yeah, and then you know, uh, there was also that uh, uh, "Viva La Vida" by Coldplay. Oh yeah, the song where the beat never really truly drops; it just kind of living la vida loca. <laughs> oh, different song. Okay. Different song. Okay, was that Ricky Martin? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, he it was. was. Try that's remember early on in the season he was going to try to make it down for a game, but I think he rolled his ankle, so he couldn't make it. But yeah, no, but I know he watched ankle, on TV. A rolled ankle for Ricky Ooh. Martin's got to affect his revenue. Especially the way he moves income, on that stage. Yeah. He just flows. And, I mean, with a rolled ankle, getting leather pants on seems kind of yeah. painful. It's tough. So AFC 615 kind of coming back into the game a little bit more. FC Birmingham a little bit tired. And we are just getting blown yeah, up. Yeah, so many All, people so many messages. Uh, saying, oh, Our friends hey. John and Ethan. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also Todd. Todd's been a big fan since day one. Thank you, Todd. Todd Chrisley. Todd Rick. Todd yep. Chrisley. Got to risk it to get the biscuit. Got to risk knows. it. Savannah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I remember that one Sunday years ago. Oh, we spent we, six hours watching, watching Chris Lee's Knows Best. The hardest I've laughed <laughs> in my entire life. Chris Lee, he's one of those guys. He's like a Gary V. He just knows so much about business. Yeah. You know? And, and, and fatherhood. And fatherhood. And the one thing about being a good father is making sure that your your kids are on television so that they'll have a normal life. Right, and, and, you know, and taking them to court to sue them. Yeah. That's what a good father does. Yeah. Thank you for that advice, Chrisley. And just, just how like how he exposed his entire family right. for, for his own gain. Yeah. I mean, what a good dad. Yeah, and, and lied about his net worth on a national stage. I just You got to respect the move, honestly. You got, got to. Got what do they say? Fake it till you make Fake it? Fake it till you make it. He embraces that. Here's Galen with the... Nice, nice kick. big kick, big kick. That's what all the parents say. That reminds me of Cade Foster for Alabama. Oh yeah, a lot of hype on Cade. Then he kind of came and. Wonder what he's doing now. 
Made a, made a couple of good kicks. Look at Andrew Duffy, oh my goodness. man. He just came to play tonight, folks. Yeah, Andrew Duffy's in, in the, the He's running going for, for the Terminator. For huh? Yeah. But what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna we're gonna tell Andrew that he oh, he's yeah, the man yeah. of the match, but right. then we're also gonna say, hey, do you mind if Eric comes out? Yeah, we'd like to ask Eric a few questions. Oh, and he just kicked. Look him. at Ryan Huff, man. That defense. It's a brick wall. That's, down that's there, Mr. Folks. Nick out there. That's Mr. Nick. Uh oh, this guy can Daniel's play. Opportunity. Oh, good save. And a put back goal for AFC. 6-1-5, and we are tied up at 1-1 one one right now. Just kind of fell apart there on the back end. Good save by, by Galen there initially. And I think that's Brett. He's getting Crouching. back up. Yeah. Yeah, AFC 6-15 kind of had possession out of nowhere for five minutes, got back into the game, and then had one opportunity and took advantage of it. And we've seen that with uh, FC Birmingham this year. They'll dominate games. The other team will get one chance and just take advantage yeah. of it. And one thing that you don't like to see as a keeper right there is you make the great initial save. Somebody follow that up, man. Help me out. Come sweep that up. and Another lost possession here, yeah. uncharacteristically, for FC Birmingham. Seems like there's been a big momentum shift in this game. Yeah, a little bit. With about 10 minutes to go, you hope, oh, dangerous idea, but just doesn't quite get there. But with 10 minutes to go left in this half of the game, Birmingham's wanting to go maybe get one more on target, huh? Yeah. Going to halftime. Now, beside the Danielson shot, uh, although Ooh. FC Birmingham's had oh, great, great uh, steal. They're calling that a handball. handball. Okay. Although uh, SC Birmingham's had a lot of um, a lot of the ball, not a lot of scoring chances no. so far. The formations helped them take control, but haven't been really potent on offense. Well, tic tac, that just isn't really working nope. out. It seems like we're trying to play on the sides yeah. more right now, and when we were playing through the middle early in the game, they're having a lot more success cutting into that final third. But when you've got wingers right. going sprinting up the field like this, you're you're always yep. wanting to pass to them because they're putting so much effort in. But Eric is rewarded. up there saying, "Hey, come yeah, on, yeah, just come on, just take your time, come on." This is the first time we've seen Brett get up. Ooh, great ball by Marco. Oh, oh, good so idea. Close. Good idea. Not the best ball actually. But you like to see that. Yeah. After getting a goal. Scored on you, and you come right back. And we're down. seeing Coach Carlos out here getting a little bit upset with his players. Coach Carlos normally so calm. He's saying, "Use your hot pockets. Use your hot pockets. Get those hands right. nice." We've and got warm. some, we've got some subs warming up over here. Want to catch Coach Coach Carlos's eye? Coach Carlos, brilliant man. What nice a sweet guy. guy nice huh? sweet coach. We talk about everything: life, yeah. philosophy, astrology. Big astrology Big. guy. Ooh. Speaking of astrology yeah. and all that stuff, what, do you have a? What are your thoughts on like uh, horoscopes and stuff like that? Are you? I've been told I'm a Virgo. Okay. And I, to be honest with you, I have no idea what that means. Okay. I've heard it's a good thing. I've heard it's a bad thing. But I think I'm a Virgo. <laughs> yeah. What are, so yeah, that's how I feel. What about yeah. you? I I believe I'm a Cancer. I think that's also good and bad. And uh, oh, when did you find out? Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. A little bit of interplay here. Um, the the thing is, it just always looks like it's designed. Now he 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 hopped up there. Um, it looks like it's always just designed to sell those little pamphlets at the grocery store, you know. Oh yeah, and those are fun, right? Throw them in a good tactical decision. Oh, little miss there by Eric. The problem with the formation, and although they're they're able to be really dominant here, is uh, Marco is kind of dictating everything and he'll come behind and he's supposed to be one of the fur the furthest players up so when he gets the ball there's <laughs> there's really nobody to pass right. to except for eric or they can hit a winger but no no uh real presence in the center oh uh, above marco yeah 
Yeah. Ooh, just a little foul there on the back of the ankle. Those hurt when it's cold, yeah. huh? Right on the Achilles. They're trying to work the ball into Mr. Number 19. be interesting to see with about six minutes to go what team goes in into the half with the momentum nice clearance there Ooh, that could have been a dangerous mistake there yeah Carlos is gonna have to probably change things a little bit and maybe get Eric some support or right. figure out some way to have a little bit more uh, attacking, uh, att directional attacking through the center. All right, folks. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. If you can get this ball down there. Decent great ball, kick. Great ball in. And Great save. great save. Wow, wow what Galen a ball, saw it huh? late. Oh, man, man, you don't want a ball no, to bounce no, no, in no, your no. box like that. That is Never that want is a ball to bounce in well your well box. not well defended. Great, uh, great kick in there by number 20. AFC 615, very savvy team. They've got one substitute. A lot of composure by them yeah. after going down one goal and then just Fair. they stayed in their heads. They didn't get worried. Another dangerous cross in. And we, ooh, oh, just missed. Yeah, folks. number 19 getting on the end of that. If you're Birmingham, you got to get a little worried with that back line right now. Defenders are getting hit a little bit, a lot of corner opportunities. Well, to me, Brett is such a such a great left-sided defender, and he's playing on the right. He just doesn't look comfortable right. down there. And I, I wouldn't have a problem telling him that. I mean, he's really, really open to feedback, great defender, great captain, and I just – you know, it's kind of like a James Milner. Play wherever you need oh, him to yeah. play. The work that, was uh, oh, a, great. Okay, pass. let's see if they can make this happen here. Eric needs he to be a little bit softer here. Oh. And he did that go hmm. out for a corner? Or? I believe yeah, so. Did. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering, okay. based on that trajectory, I was like, yeah, looking through my physics handbook to figure out how it did that. <laughs> Just that. That handy physics handbook. Everyone's got Just one. <laughs> and if you don't have back one, back I think back you pocket. need one. Oh, back pocket. I have a great Aquafina here. Ooh. We let let we the folks hear this. We haven't mentioned the title sponsor enough, Pepsi. It's Pepsi, all about Pepsi. 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 Uh. All right, a corner Pepsi opportunity here. Pepsi the Dew of Mountain Dew. Ooh, low ball in. Missed the first man and. Another corner opportunity here for Birmingham with about three minutes to go. If they can get this goal and going at half, that's the momentum you want to capture right before you go into the locker room. Another low ball and another corner. <laughs> Hashtag deja vu. <laughs> yeah. So Danielson's got to beat the first man this time. I would advise getting just a little more air under yeah. it this time. <laughs> that would be helpful. I would just love to see Andrew Duffy. <laughs> and the end of that. Oh, Moss by Did Eric Did you Hess. see that? Got Julio Jones out yeah. there. Number 23 coming in for uh, FC Birmingham. Piero. Oh, what a name, huh? Mr. Salzar. Now I've played with him a couple, couple times. Great player, nice guy. The players are gonna love seeing him on the field, man. He's just one of those guys that when he comes on. Positive energy guy. Positive energy, yeah. but he's just like one of those likable guys. That, yeah. Oh, uh, Galen's gonna collect Oof. that, yeah. Yeah, number 19's giving Brett a yeah. little bit of trouble here. And their midfield's really starting yeah. to push him, get those balls down there to him. Oh, another lost Swampy possession by Birmingham. By Mr. Nick. A little corner in the box. Birdie's just going to clear that. Out. To be honest, with a couple minutes left, if I'm Birmingham, I just start booting it. Yeah. Just get to the Let's, locker room. I'm interested to see 
why the, and who Ooh, they're making a sub for great here. Great pass. With uh, halftime just about to, to wrap up. And once again, folks, great. at halftime, Gene Simmons will be performing Phantom of the Opera. That's a foul. defense by yeah. Nelson. He's really been working on that part of his game. This is going to be the latest. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Great idea right there. So who is Piero going to come on for? Piero. Piero. I love that name. So Salazar. Salazar. Mm. Coming on for, for Pablo, I think. Okay, I wonder what's happened with Pablo. That's bizarre. Hmm. Especially with two seconds before yeah. halftime. Yeah. Hmm. But Carlos, Coach Carlos does exactly what yeah. he's doing. We trust in Carlos. He's going to sit in the uh, midfield. Goodness. The brothers just, tried to link up there. Not clicking right now yep. with the, our forward play. This reminds me of a couple games we've had this season where later in the half, especially the first half, we just kind of get lulled to sleep a little bit yeah. and let the game get out of our hands. But I've seen it time and time again. We go in at halftime, and what do we do the second half? We come out with that come energy. Out yep. Everyone gets some hot chocolate, warm up a little bit. Pepsi hot chocolate. It's so good, folks. Carlo last last game mm -hmm. came last game that we commented came in made oh. a big impact. I wonder if he'll be uh, be someone that he is Coach that Carlos kind of player. Yeah, when you need him, he's going to go. Not going to press. Not going to press. Nope. All Never right. Never likes to press. And that is end of the first half, folks. We will hold up see play. you after halftime.
All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see what happens in the second half as that temperature gotta, is plummeting. Gonna make it last all night. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. And, folks, at halftime, while watching Gene Simmons perform Phantom of the Opera, which was incredible, the fire fireworks were pretty awesome. I was not expecting that. But we also got delivered some incredible tacos. Taco Mama. Taco Mama. Taco Mama. Taco Mama. Thank you to Taco, Taco Mama. Mama. Mm. Wonderful locations and everywhere. Like, Literally yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just throw a rock and you'll hit if a Mama named Taco. If it's got Taco. a main street, it's got a Taco Mama. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, a little. Offsides there, but I like what I'm seeing. It was close, yeah. but I think he was just a bit outside. If you're Birmingham, you want to keep a big eye on number yeah. 19 yeah. for AFC 615. I mean, they are – he is fast. He's got some great Pumas on. Yeah, every, everybody's got Pumas on Everyone. out here, of course. We got our Pumas on up we here. We got our Pumas on. We love Puma, Puma, Puma. Yep. And they make shoes just for announcers. Really yeah. cool. Nice traction. Right. Good midsole. Ma yeah, mat. Kind of like a matted, uh, rubber matted on the, the sole. And my whole body is freezing cold, but my feet are so warm. And I don't have socks on. Mm. And our stomachs are full because Ooh, of Taco Mama. Taco Mama. Ooh. Ooh, Eric. That. that. So. They called a foul on that, and Eric's going to be happy on that one because <laughs> I believe he just got caught up in that ball a little bit. We've all been there. We've all been there. All been there. And for me, it's happened a lot. Very embarrassing at times. <laughs> Did he also? I like that ball. Ooh. FC Birmingham still has not worked out putting two people on a on a set. So they're really going to have to figure that out here. Uh, soon. Yeah, just want to have a left want to have a left footer, uh, maybe look like they're potentially going to take the free kick too. That will just cause a little bit of confusion. Get a decent throw in here by Mr. Nick. Ooh, Ooh. great idea there to get it ball back. Ooh. Got to be careful here. Uh, well done, Mr. Salzar. Oh. That was not a foul. That was not a foul. That was just great play right just there. Play. Number 19. Number 19. I'm going to ask him for his jersey after yeah. the game. Granted, it's cold, so I might not do that. A couple missed opportunities here early for Birmingham. And Look at Mr. Nick out there. Great work here. Andrew Duffy not exactly happy with that pass. And oh my goodness, what a ball. Let's see if Ryan can recover here. Great well steal there. Well done. A little foul there. Both teams are just kind of filling each other out right now. It is cold, and they're just trying to warm up. It's kind of a war of attrition at this point. First team to get warm might win. And a brilliant <laughs> turn by number 19. And a decent ball into the box, but great recovery there by Birmingham. Having a hard time getting that ball to the other side of the field for Birmingham, but... 
They're bending and not breaking. Oof. Oh my goodness, and they just had a really nice goal for AFC 615, and they are up by one goal on FC Birmingham here. And I, I honestly believe it's because they got warmer. They're just a little bit warmer. That was number 19. We talked about it, folks. We yeah. said you got to keep an eye out on him. Right. He is a, an extreme talent. And <clears throat> what I've just seen here is that Brett has switched to the left back spot, and Mr. Nick has come over here and to the right. And that probably was a little bit late. Another option might be putting Verdi on number 19, but great ball. The problem is, once again, it's getting it to Eric. Oh, good. Birmingham's just having a hard time keeping that possession going forward. AFC 615 really reminds me of how Chelsea is built. Mm. Um, not really interested with possession for possession's sake. But they're going to strike but when they need yes, to. Yes, sir. And they're going to do and it fast, and, and you're not going to know what yep. happened. And you're going to wake up and say, what? There we go. Let's see if Andrew can make something happen here. A little overlap play here. To Eddie. He can make a turn well done, out of Eddie. this. Well Great done. ball. But there's nobody there's really one, yep, up there to again. help him. You got Marco. Great ball. Uh, That's the problem right there. There's just nowhere idea. to go. Good idea. All right, on these lost possessions here by FC, Birmingham really needs to capitalize. Nice little ball here on the outside. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick's going to try to whip this ball in if he can. Great and ball. that's an Great incredible ball. ball. Well done, Mr. Salazar. Ooh. Nielsen with the miscontrol. control. And AFC's on the break. Oh, my goodness. Late offsides there. It was close. It was, I, <laughs> it was close. and uh, I would be extremely <laughs> upset if I was 19 because yeah. I'm pretty sure I saw him on site. And it's always frustrating as a player when they let you run down for a little <laughs> bit just to wear yourself out yeah, just a little I, bit more. I don't know why he did that flag. because yeah. <laughs> there's no VAR. So. Yeah. Why was he waiting? If you we'll, see we'll it, know. call it. He was also not – the linesman was also not level with the line. Piero taking the ball pretty deep here. And, Another uh, loss. Is that Marco out, out wide now. Nice idea by Galen. What? Uh, this ref is really like deciding to start calling some interesting fouls here, like not really one player like a falling over a here. ball, and yeah. now this. It's, it's going to be interesting going into the stretch here. Coach Carlos is going to have to make a couple of changes here in, in, in pretty fast. I'm not seeing anyone warm up just yet, no. but you got to think any minute <laughs> now. Can't blame him either. Yeah. I'd, I'd want to share that body warmth. Yep. Really good ball. Whew. Not the best fist by Galen, but he got it out of there. Eric still giving 110%. Andrew Duffy playing really well. situation that's the best you can do you just want to keep number 19 in front of you if you're Birmingham because he will catch you 
Dangerous slide tackle there. <laughs> Tempers are starting to heat up, unlike the temperature out here. Opportunity here. Yeah, the oh. sooner FC Birmingham can make some changes, the better. And one thing I'll say too, AFC is incredible at free kicks and free kick possessions and throw ins. They just well coached with that. Yeah. Oh, another foul. Starting to add up here for Birmingham. Getting a little frustrated. Yep. Things aren't going the way you well, want. Well, if I was on the field right now, man, if I have the ball, I'm not going to be feeling pretty good about creating a chance because they haven't done it in 40 minutes you and know and once again eric is just so isoed up there by yeah. himself you gotta wonder how do we get the ball to him another decent ball in well done oh great, great play effort, incredible man. hustle there well done by mr nick I just love that Rugrats jacket down there. I got to say. Short little throw in here. My goodness. Speed right there. Yeah, AFC is it, pin, pin Birmingham. Yeah. And Just. I can't blame him for uh, pulling out of that one. And FC Birmingham is really playing for that fast break, but it is yeah, just hard to get going. it going. It's not – their midline is holding. Well, what happens is when, when you're out of shape like this yeah. then it, and you're trying to hit that fast break, every pass becomes risky. Exactly. Then you start turning it over more, and it's a vicious cycle. And one thing that I'm just That's curious about decision. is – if you're Coach Carlos, it's I think it's that time in the game when you really need to change some things yeah. up. Maybe a couple subs yeah. change and, or and, formation change. And we don't have any subs warming up right now. Because we are FC Birmingham is just getting gashed, and that's another potentially dangerous ball. But but Jaylen look at their shape right now. Oh, no, everybody needs to be pushing up right yeah. now. Verdi needs to be telling everybody to push up. There's yeah, they're so flat. Nice break here, finally. If he can get it outside. To his brother. Ooh, uh, just a bad touch there by Eric. But if they can stay with it, they still can get a nice little opportunity here. Work it back, work it back. Take your time. Good well play. done. Just once again, just nowhere to go when you get down there.
were just kind of silently praying to ourselves yeah. for, for a little bit. We lit a couple candles up here and burned some sage. And so we're going to see what happens. Yep. Well worked. Well worked. Great pass back. <laughs> right off the face. Goodness gracious. Boy, that hurts. Especially in the cold. Mm -mm. Ooh, if he can get there, that's a dangerous oh, opportunity. Oh, nice try, great, Mr. Salazar. Great shot. Nice job. Heat man. That's, did you see his run up on that ball? Yeah, that that's was, been some guy who's come on right now. and He's at least got the tempo. That, and he is someone, that, he's showing the energy out there, and he's yeah. telling his teammates, guys, come on. Let's go, Show man. the energy. Come on, drink a Pepsi. Mix it with and a you know Gatorade. He's got, he's got Jordan on the back. Oh, yeah. He's got Jordan on the back. 23, baby. Let's go. And Jordan, I think, he, we're the pitcher. <laughs> yeah. Correct? Yes. Famous. Uh, <laughs> Chicago Cubs pitcher. Famous. He once won the World Series while having the flu. Absolutely incredible. Great touch here. If you can get it in the middle, that's a decent pass. Oh, Andrew Duffy. If you can stay with it. Oh, oh no. nice try, but okay, Birmingham. Out for a corner. Yeah, Birmingham. Okay, Birmingham. Birmingham's kind of been recharged here. Yep. Birmingham. Now, who's going to be the vocal leader on the team? I'm seeing Ryan Hepp with his head down. I'm, uh, Brett hasn't had the best game. I've seen, you know, Brett's kind of down in the dumps. Who's who's going to lead the team right That's now? That's a great question, Robert, and I don't know. I see a lot of dragon out yeah. there. Just a lot of dragon boots. It, I believe it's Mr. Uh, Mr. Salzar who's kind of come in with a little bit of energy and, and from an effort standpoint, the leader of the team right now. That is not a good situation nope. to find yourself uh, he, in. Well Ooh. done, well done. Good job, Brett. Let's play there. <laughs> nice, try. nice little ball there, huh? If, if we can swing it, if we can get it to the middle a little bit, we got a ton of players right there yeah. stacked up, but nice play. And if he can trap this ball, great, ooh, great touch. touch. Oh, my goodness. And got, he's going got for it. Got to shoot it. You got to shoot it when, you, when you touch it like that. Oh, my had goodness. Dennis Burke oh, over yeah. Here. He put some stick em all over his cleats for that one. And we have fans coming up and oh, giving us just, hugs. and Just so much embrace. The crowd so loves us so much. Energy, so much oh, positive yeah. energy. The crowd's going here. crazy, and they're waving to us, and we're waving back. It's incredible. Just a wonderful time. Yep. I think the sage is really the starting sage, to yeah. work in here. Yep. And to be honest with you, sage doesn't smell great. <laughs> I'm more of an essential oils guy <laughs> myself. Big lavender guy. Oh, la yeah. yeah. Lavender. Oh, yeah. Lavender will change the game. Oh, it okay, does. Okay, now uh, AFC's put in their, their first and only substitute, and I can tell you who they're not <laughs> substituting is number 19. No. Because that man's going to be by playing far all the best oh, yeah. player on oh, the yeah. field. Once again, we have to get his jersey. Yeah. I'll give you yeah. half. or I'll take well, his shorts. You take the jersey. <laughs> and then if he gives us each a I cleat. The, I want his cleats. This, yeah. Those pumas. Look at those. Oh, those those pumas. pumas are just. Now, number seven's coming in for uh, for AFC 615 forward. And uh, he, he's, he's been okay with the hold-up play, the guy who's coming off. But let's see if number seven is, uh, is half as exciting as number 19. I bet he's going to be running because he has been cold on yeah. that bench <laughs> by himself, sitting on that cold bench. He's going to be and moving out this there, guy, folks. This guy, number nine, it's got to be like, Coach, no no hot chocolate or you, you yeah. didn't want to Oh, yeah. Oh, seven with a nice little early yeah. ball there. And he is moving. Uh, interesting sounding tuba, I yeah, believe that I was. Tried to get the horn going yeah. there. There's or Mr. a baby Sal elephant. It could have been a baby elephant. People can bring your pets. Yeah, bring anything you want. Speaking of baby elephants, yeah. I, I uh, was playing with my child's toy last night. Sweet Claire. You Sweet have Claire. the sweetest, and, uh, sweetest daughter. She has a, an, a little baby elephant toy oh. that is the most frightening it's terrifying. <laughs> thing I've ever heard. Sort of like a primal scream like when you see the villain in a movie. And poor little girl didn't know what to do. She thought daddy, daddy was trying to... Sick some evil on her. Or yep. something. I don't know. That's what Chris Lee taught us <laughs> in gotta, fatherhood. You got to scare gotta, your kids. Got to scare your kids good. Yep. And then you sue them <laughs> for all they have. And that's great fatherhood. That's great parenting. Chris Lee's no best. Big fans up here. Chris Lee, we love you. Look at Eric Hab trying to, trying to. 
Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no. Uh, well done, Verdi. Yes. I'm going to have another Taco Mama jalapeno. Ooh. Thank you again, Taco Mama. Once again, folks, they're everywhere. We're That's not right. going to give if you a specific it, location, but main, if you can hear it's this. it's got a Main Street, it's got a Taco Mama. Yep. And uh, that means places like Trustville. Trustville. Places like Homewood. Homewood. Places like Crestline. Crestline. Pr- places like Auburn. Auburn. But, you know, I, I don't know if they have a Vestavia location because I don't know of a uh, I don't know Vest- if they like Vestavia. They, they have, have one they at have the summit. We can't summit. confirm Ooh. through our sources that they do have one at the summit. Taco Mama at the summit. And they have one on 119 okay, as well. Okay, now now we've got uh, number seven coming in. Ooh, two for, seven and, subs. And, uh, that's going to be Jackson Lynn, who I Jackson just don't Lynn. remember him from, from uh, commentating on any of the games before. So we, we did talk to him, and he's another player with a great, sophisticated palate. So, so Eric – has shifted out to the right wing, and Jackson Lynn is is gonna uh, gonna come play uh, play center forward. Look at him just going up for that ball. Uh. Oh, there. It. Great defense there, Jackson Lynn. That's that's a very classic sounding it name. It is right, Jackson Lynn. You know? Jackson, it seems like or it sounds like a. Uh, a nice polo shirt designer, right? Like, or a good button down yeah. that you wear on game day. Or also like a famous woman from New York. Oh, yes, like a real estate movie. Yeah, like yes. Jack, that's Jackson Lynn. Yeah, right that's there. Jackson Lynn. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Brett decided he wasn't having any oh, of that. Dangerous shot oh, on goal. Boy. My goodness, just oh, boy, right over 11. the top bar. If you're Birmingham with 60, I can't see the scoreboard exactly. It's 66, uh, 30. 66, 30. Okay. We're getting to that point in the game where you really got to start getting some shots on goal early because you're down one goal. You haven't had a lot going for you. Just get them on goal. Just start peppering them. And another lost possession by Birmingham. Uh-oh, there's number 19 with the ball. Always a terrifying thing. There's okay. Jackson Lynn. Nice little play here. <laughs> oh, man, the well done, Mr. Oh, Salazar. Yeah. Well done. We'll stay with it. Oh, great turn there. That's a foul. Okay. <laughs> Can Birmingham set up a little play here? Uh, he's got. He's. He should just do a quick kick to the left yep. side of the field because he's got to set it up. Yeah. Uh, waited too long to do that though. Oh man, that is that is awful. That is really bad from FC Birmingham. That is poorly done. That is poorly done as well. Oh. I believe that was a little mag for us. Un- Good job, Mr. Nick. Oh. Birmingham is just having a really difficult time just holding on to the ball. Uh, Orange are going crazy trying to wake up FC Birmingham and say, come on, guys. We're fans of yours. Come on, guys. We need help. Dangerous tackle there, but the ref says, no, 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 no. Keep on playing. I was in the parking lot and uh, saw what I think is Brett's truck Mm -hmm. 
got a nice white drum. Yeah, did he have a lift on it? Uh, no, but it no was just lift? one of those okay. one of those where you don't really need it. You don't need a lift. You know, it just looks. I believe if you own a truck, you have to put a lift on it. I you think it's state law, to be honest with you, especially in the state especially, of Alabama. Yeah. And maybe some Take undercarriage them up lights. Maybe maybe throw the uh, the tennis ball up on the antenna for oh, yeah. some reason. Never yeah. understood. Never got that one. Never understood. Well, Always have why a fishing you pole do that. in the back, even though you don't fish. Yeah. You have to do those things if you want to live in the state of Alabama. The wonderful state. Speaking of which, Kay Ivey heard us talking about Alabama, and she's waving up to us. Hey, hey, Governor Ivey. Oh. Going for it. Okay. Nice try to Nielsen, but often. Eric Hep throwing his hands up in disgust there. I would too, to be honest with you, Robert. At this point in the game, you'd hope we would have a little bit more going for us. But once again, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Really thought Coach Carlos would be bringing on some more subs by now. Yeah. But I think that he's probably going to wait until the next last 10 minutes and then just try to grind out a tie. That's That's got to be an offside That's offside there. That's and once again, they let him run 20 yards without calling offsides, which if I was playing, I would have to say something about that. so cold it's, up here. It's so cold. Then I'll oh, tell you, man. Robert, you know what we need to do. That little elephant that scares Claire, your daughter. <laughs> burn we, it. We need to burn it as a sacrifice what? and let her know Daddy that, that, and that, Uncle Nick got you your did. back. When I saw how upset that made my daughter, I wanted to kill the company. Let's call that Burn manufacturer. It. And you know, a, if you have any problem dealing with companies or stuff like that second row second law. row law. I, that's, that's who we're going to whiteboard yeah. that how to take this what? company down take, take this it down demonic to the, yeah. company that we're going to peter thiel gawker oh you know oh yeah just get that hit wait, piece out know, there five to five to six years and just slowly take them down there's nothing like a good takedown that's real slow and methodical yeah. little citizen came oh like, yeah you know uh, <laughs> go uh, down to second row law, crack some Pepsis. Pack, and also Ooh, some Mountain Dew, Mountain man. Dew. I'm so tired Mountain of nobody Dew. Nobody ever says Mountain Dew anymore. They don't. You, you remember playing anybody? video games for 10 hours straight? Yeah. What would we do? Mountain Dew, Mountain, is, is, Dew. Is, Mountain Dew is so Halo 2. Oh, my, good, oh my goodness. Incredible reference there, yeah. Robert. I could not and agree more. A bit more. of a rhyme, too. Oh, yeah. In Modern Warfare 2, oh. Call of Duty, Yeah, it came with a case of Mountain Dew. <laughs> and it was so good. It's great for you. Really, my goodness, what a turn by oh. 11 there. And it just seems from up here, the energy levels are just not matched. Oh, nice Except little Andrew steal Duffy, there. Duffy, man. Duffy has done everything he can. Okay. And, you know, Robert, I'm just, I feel like Coach Carlos should at least be warming up a couple players down on the bench just for their own yeah. sake. It's cold out here. <laughs> yeah. But also, I think they need to get in the game, maybe change something up. Because it seems that AFC 615 well, has figured us out. It's it's easy to to say you know when the attackers things aren't going well for the attackers and there's there's no um, no scoring going on. But the the midfield play right now is it's just it's just not connecting no. and, and things just aren't looking good. The 19 Number is 19, just man, doing everything right. Does this guy I mean, wanna, does this guy want to come hang out? Yeah. I mean, we, we would just love to play oh, FIFA with this guy. That, and I, I'm going to let him know I have a hammock on my porch. Yeah, that just is, come hang out. Yeah, man. come hang out. Feel free, feel free to join. We can cook some ribeyes. We would like to sign you yes. uh, to, <laughs> yes. to a, uh, an agency deal here. And I think that's one thing we're going to go discuss this week with Second Row Law yeah. is starting our own ad agency and also sports marketing. Uh, yeah. And we're going to sign we're, 19 immediately. We're, we're big We're big on, on the, the – um, small to medium influencers you want somebody super talented yeah. who doesn't have above ten thousand followers and then you just want to 
you want to be there for the growth yeah. and for the explosion. Exactly. And just exploit them yeah. to the best of your ability. <laughs> Todd, Todd Chrisley, them. Yes, Todd Chrisley, them. Because Chrisley, guess what? He knows, knows best. Yeah. And you just got to risk it to get the biscuit. Got to risk that. it to get that biscuit. And we've been working on an interview with Todd. And as soon as we get that interview, folks, we will be playing it live. Look at Eric Cap still going. Oh, oh, boy, that was a bad foul. That was very dangerous, but oh, seems man. like both 11s popped up rather nicely. But Eric, uh, Eric will know uh, what he was trying to do there. Uh, it's exactly what happened. I'll tell you one thing. Those, I am envious of those gloves that Eric has on. Oh. Andrew Duffy's been at the center of all the good work here. Jackson Lynn hasn't gotten on the ball much yet. We normally stick around and say hey to all the players, talk with the, the fans and the coaches after the sign game. Those, not, sign not, autographs. Not this game. <laughs> not this game. So cool. So cool. Uh, well oh. done to Nielsen. Okay. That right there is kind of the game in a nutshell. Yeah. Danielson made made two people miss and then just, just the sloppy that last pass. pass. Well done, well done, Mr. Nick. Great, he's had a great game. Great he has. Game. And I could be wrong, but I feel like our camera guy's hands are so cold right now. I, I'm seeing him look at his his hands, and I, I've been there before. We've got about 15 minutes to go. We've seen Birmingham do it before. We've seen Giancarlo. And, and you'd think he would be a great player to bring onto yeah. the field at this and, point, a great hold-up player where you can get some possession in the final third. And, and let me tell you this, too. I saw Eric Hepp throwing up his hands uh, when he was trying to uh, trying to show for it. If, if you make something happen when they do pass you the ball, and you make it happen consistently, whether that's holding it up or taking advantage of the situation. They, people are start are going to start to look for you early in those situations, and they're finding them late. But I, that's just a consequence of the, the actions that have happened on the field so far. I, I don't think Jackson Lynn has had a touch of the ball. Jackson, Lynn. Yeah. That's what the crowd is yelling. <laughs> that was just the gen the most generic <laughs> high school chant. Just. Do you remember the one? Robert is a oh, yeah. great father. There you that go. was my favorite one in high school. Yeah, that was that was more of a middle school. Yeah, we kept it going a couple yeah, years into yeah. high school and got laughed at by the seniors, but. Pep rallies are pep rallies. Yep. That's what you got to do. I personally never attended a pep. I would always leave. Yeah. Say, pep you rallies know what? Are, are super embarrassing. Yeah. Not for the audience, but the guys that have to wear those Letterman jackets. Oh, yeah. They were hideous. Especially guys who have a 1998 Ford Mustang. Yep. Their mom <laughs> buys them uh, their very own name. But those name floor, floor mats? And, yeah, those floor mats with your own name on it is uh, – it's always confusing for the yeah. people that ride with you. Do I, why am I putting my feet on your name? It's kind of weird if you think about yeah. it. Nothing like a jet black. There's Jackson Lynn. There's Jackson, Jackson Lynn on the Lynn. ball. All right. Oh, just gets on just, and tries, just, to, just, tries to make a cross. Yeah. Well, well done, Jackson. And he just throws that foot at it yeah, and just, just says. Just. And the crowd really appreciated yeah, that, too. Mr. Nick. Nice little in. curve of that ball. Oh, good center back play, but. Boy, that, that hurts. He <laughs> just, that was a frustration kick right. right there. He just said, you're going to take this, sir. And huh. while I'm watching this, I can't get it off my brain about Taylor Swift's new album. Yes, yeah, so she's re-recording. 
basically <laughs> it's all her, her albums combined, and she has one song that's ten minutes long. And oh, people oh, love who, it. who is this now? Oh, who is that? okay. Who well, is that? Razzle dazzle. Was that Andrew there. Duffy? Was Put that Andrew Duffy, Duffy, Duffy the Vampire Slayer? Put Andrew Duffy. Oh, in. Duffy, forward, man. let's go. This guy's legit. All right, Birmingham is running out of time here to try to steal to a ten win. Minutes but and at this point, you just want the tie. Especially going into the playoffs. You don't want to go into the playoffs after a loss. That's uh, just and, and you, we've talked about this, man. This is not good to have a cold-weather game when all the playoffs are going to be cold-weather games like this. And, and this is what, what we're seeing from the team going into the winter months. It's going to be a long winter if they're playing like this. Good ball. Nice ball for Eric to run down here. Can he make a play with it? And he just he tried that outside of the foot shot there. And uh. All right, number 19 has still got that pace going. Fred did. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm getting this and out. Once again, I really want either his jersey, his shorts, or his cleats after yeah. this game. And I don't have anything personal that I can give him in exchange for it. We've got some salsa from Taco Mama. We do have some salsa some onions, and some onions some jalapenos. and some used tinfoil, which yeah. everyone can use that. <laughs> used tinfoil, boy, that, sounds, oh, that yeah. just sounds sketchy. Oh, yeah, it does. Especially when there's not any sauce or anything left from food. You go, what was in here? Yeah. <laughs> and I think at this point in the game, AFC 615 are just going to kind of try to run that clock out. You'd think so, but, man, number 19 is. Number 19 is saying, uh-uh, I want another. He's pressing up top. So I'm just trying to understand how FC Birmingham are trying to play based on it. How when Galen had the ball, and it's it's just not really clear right now. You're seeing Ryan Hep kind of float around all over the field. Good ball, good ball by Danielson. Jackson Lynn. Dangerous right here. Good, uh, good flick on. Right there is where we've really had a hard time tonight. And it looks like we have someone warming up here on the side team. And that Tomas. will be Tomas. Tomas. Love that name. Tomas is such a good name. Because you, you – Thomas – Thomas so is like Tom, great name. Yeah, Tom. Tomas, yeah. Oh, that's when Tomas, he's. Oh, yeah. Tomas. Oh yeah. Tomas, Tomas. Brilliant name. Brilliant. I mean, imagine going up to a girl at a bar and say, "Hey, I'm Tomas." <laughs> just different. You yeah. Know? <laughs> just change. <laughs> imagine walking oh, up and going, "Hey, I'm say, yeah, Thomas." Did, did you say like, Thomas? No, no, I didn't say hit Thomas. the same. No, I didn't say no, Thomas. I said Tomas. Where are you from? Alabama. Yeah. Where are you from? And you get kind of defensive about it. Mm -hmm. And that's well when done they by fall Bird. in love. Oh, yeah. Oh, th there you go, Brett. There you go, Brett. There you go, Brett. Out of position now. <laughs> Way out of position, buddy. Probably about and 50 yards. Oh, 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 number 19. Not exactly no. sure what happened there. He not a, not a foul. got tackled by a ghost in midair.
tell you one thing. I'm really impressed with AFC, AFC 615's shape. Yeah, and, and, and see, Birmingham hasn't cycled possession around uh, in the back long enough to, to get their shape going. Boy, I, I hate that this this result is going to take away from how good Andrew Duffy has been today. He has been such a good good spot. I wonder what's up with um, with Angel from uh, Angel Duarte because oh he had him oh no. Oh. Oh, if he had played it a little bit earlier. And see, when pe people who've played the number 10 position will know this. When For, for somebody to play in the number 10 position and do it well, it, they've got to be an artist. In their head, they've got to be thinking of things that nobody would think of. And, and everything is so predictable. Like the band, the band, which is a band, mm -hmm. their song, Paint My Masterpiece. Right. Oh, then you got to be thinking about such that. Such a good song. How do I get out here and paint my masterpiece right, here with we a go, ball Here we go. Here we go. And he is going to be Come offside, on. I Come believe. On. Yep. Uh, it was close, though, man. I think he was well just. Off. I think he was. They're just they're saying three project. yards. They're saying three yards. Three yards, huh? <laughs> was fantastic. Mm. That could have been the part in the game where you go, oh, oh and my Andrew goodness. Duffy is coming out. I'm not exactly oh. sure about why. He doesn't look happy at all. No. He, oh, yeah. yeah he is yep. Yep. very upset, rightfully camera, so. But, yep. but Andrew just kicked a water bottle or a cone or and something. And to be honest, I love to see that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, After this point, is, and now he's, sitting, like now he's sitting by himself on the bench, yeah. and that's got to sting. And if you're a teammate down there. Man, what's you what's going on over here? Did we get a hand to the a hand to the face? He is. Uh-oh, elbow. He's saying he got elbowed, and Ferdy's saying, no, nah, get up. Oh, man, Andrew Duffy is going to go uh, into the locker room now. He's very upset. I don't know. Never mind. He's just putting on, putting on a. But if I'm one of his teammates down on the bench, I would go over to him and say, "Hey, bud, you, you played, played great, man. You got nothing game. to be upset about. I mean, it, you can be upset the way the the results going, and I understand that. But in terms of personal performance, well done, man. You incredible. Should, should be happy with yourself. That's off. Great touch. Incredible touch, touch though. My lord. And good and ball. An incredible ball. There's a really good opportunity here for uh, Birmingham. And can't can't ooh. fault the touch from that. That shot either by Tomas. Birmingham here late. Can they get one? That's the question. Yeah. That's what everyone's that emailing probably me. probably going to be the best opportunity yep. of the game. Everyone is sending me messages via MySpace asking, can they score? Good idea. I like the idea of that ball. So FC Birmingham's got him squeezed in now. We're going for the tie. We are going for Go the tie. Go for the tie. And a pretty good ball in there if it snuck in. And, and now we're starting to see Brett push up. Where was that the entire game? This is the – they've waited way too long for this. Oh, boy. I'm not – from up here, I'm not sure about that foul, but that's why I'm up here. Yeah. And once again, we would just like to thank Taco Mama because without oh, those boy. tacos, I'd be in yeah, trouble. be a little bit upset with everything. Yep. But we got our smile in. Yeah. And the Taco Mama. Taco Mama. I'm still – I'm still a little bit hungry for mm. more. Yes. Number 19. Um. Ooh. All right, FC Birmingham's got about a minute plus stoppage time to try to salvage a tie out of this. And 
lost a possession and an incredible little move there by 20. Uh, oh man, number 19 is probably going to be upset about that because he was he was ready for it. wide but look, had looked some pace on it huh <laughs> it looked like a little do you remember that shot that tiger wood used to have that would only get up about four feet in the air and he called it the tiger stinger oh uh, and it was just oh the tiger it was stinger. breathtaking called the tiger stinger and he would could do it with a four iron he could do it with a wood well done danielson if uh, that's a little foul okay I hope they can run a little play here instead of just kicking it deep in the box. I would go short here, try to build up a little momentum, but it looks like they're going to play that long ball. How much uh, extra time do you think we have? Probably three minutes? Yeah, at the most. <laughs> they're not going to give us more than four when it's this cold. No. In Alabama. So this is probably going to be it for FC Birmingham. And it doesn't get past the first man. Boy, that's disappointing. Oh. Just a frustration kick right there. He and, had, uh, he had Nick out, out to the right. And this is one of those games you go back and watch as a player and you go, did I give it my all? Yeah, and, and i got to say, a lot of players need to be looking at themselves after this game. We, we've been their biggest fans all year. We love these guys. Really good talents, really good characters. Great Brett, palettes. Brett, Ryan, you guys have to step up and be leaders, vocal leaders when things are going going poorly. When it was one-to-one, -one, that's when things really should have gotten turned up. You waited way too long to start putting the pressure on. And as, as leaders, you've got to convey that pretty quickly because um, a lot of the other guys are feeding Ooh. off of you. Pretty rough foul there. Especially this late okay. in the game, you hate to see that. Oh, now is now is this Mr. Is Nick? There we go. Now we've got we've got two players on the free kick. This could is this great. This is great. So now the goalie doesn't know if it's going to be taken with the right foot or a left foot, and the left footer could even get a shot on goal if he wanted to. A dangerous ball, and oh, if they can no. hold, they just oh, no. mm. number nineteen. Get him run. Yeah. It's like a gazelle. It's incredible. Oh, oh, oh. God. Oh, boy. Uh, I want to see what that sign is made out of. I, mean, that, I don't know, but second row. <laughs> second row was spared. That was all Pepsi. No, that's all the Pepsi sign, huh? Good little ball in. Oh, no. No. Uh, oh, he should have. He could have just given. He should have uh, passed yeah, it. Yeah, just pass that across the goal. And then you have an open goal. goal. Is it? The opportunities have been there. Yeah. And you have to, as a player after this game. Right. Got to. But, but notice how no, yeah, exactly. the last five to ten minutes of the game, yep. everybody starts pushing forward and, and everything. And that could have been the whole I mean, game. that's kind of how they started the game. But then they just, they let it go for some reason. In the middle of the game, or the middle of both halves. That's our problem yeah. right there. We just kind of get lulled into the game and not taking the game to AFC 615. I've, I've seen everybody. And 19 is just hollow notes. And he's. Didn't get a hold of it. No. I've been seeing so many people post photos of, like, the the league standings and, and everything. Um, but but this this just goes to show you there is still work to be There's done. There's still work to be These done. These guys Going have into a lot playoff. of improvement. And to be honest, before we close here, now that it's the end of the game and we've heard the final whistle, one thing I will say is going into the playoffs, coming off of a loss, that can be motivating. It can fire you up. And it might be a good thing. It might be the fuel you need to get through the playoffs. But, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, congrats to AFC 615. They played an incredible game. Number 19, Number I'm 19, coming for you. Yeah. And uh, we'll get back at them next time. Yeah, we'll see you. Uh, December 4th is the first uh, playoff game. We don't know. Uh, any details about who's going to be playing, where, where it will be played, what time. where there will be commentating. Yeah. 
but uh, we know everybody hopes that we will, and, and, and we just really appreciate all the support. And that join we our Discord. Our, our Discord. Discord yeah, yeah, we've got a Discord channel. Yeah, six hundred uh, six hundred seventy active users. And Patreon. Our Patreon yeah, has been Patreon, blown up. Yeah, Patreon's so been. Thank you to all up. our patrons. Yeah. Um, we just hired a community manager for the Discord yeah. server, and all we can do is say thank you to yeah. all you, all the people that send postcards. Thank you so much. Yeah, we. I mean, just from like an announcer's uh, standpoint, we we know that um, you know people are really really into what we're doing right. here, and like you know we, again we free food, yep. kissing babies, yep. and everything. Autographs, but, a lot but it's autographs. about the players. It's, it's about, about the, the players. players. It's about and the that's players. what we we t- we tell everybody yep. is about the players. It's about actually, them. it's not about the announcers. Yep. It's about the players. It's about the organization. Yeah, but thank you for the gifts as yeah, well right. and the checks that in got the a free nice golf cart. Oh, free golf cart we got. Oh, yeah, that was. Those really cool. Those really, rims are really, really nice. Really good rims. We still haven't figured out who's going to get it. Maybe we'll yeah. do it like a divorce family. Yeah, you get you it one have weekend, it. I'll get it the other. First and I get the first and the third yep, weekend. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. But once again, it's about the players. Yeah, so, it's about the pl- yeah. and the organization. And the organization. It's not about us. It's not, not about, about us. us. But um, We appreciate that. Yep. And thank you so much. Yep. All right, folks.